Hi Catherine and anyone else who might be interested. This is my friend's uh, jewellery and mineral shop here in Jewellery Town in Mungsha. Uh, let's go have a look around inside because there's a lot to look at. Oh. So out the front here, this is mainly jade, but um, also Huang Long Yu. Huang Long Yu, that means yellow dragon jade in Chinese. Uh, there, there's lots of Huang Long Yu. Um, Huang Long Yu, I wrote yesterday, that's a type of Chalcedony that's native to here in De Hong. So you can see there, it gets those dendrites in it. Um, they're like the tree-like growths. Uh, different iron colours. It's mostly coloured by iron, is my understanding. Those ones there are red jasper. So some big jade boulders here. This writing here, that's Burmese. They are mine marks. So if you're in the business, you can read those and know the origin of the stones. Oh, these are cool. These are um, medallions. Someone's made out of low-grade jade. Um, Mao Zedong is on them there. This, I believe, is Huang Wang Yu. It's kind of like a human heart, I suppose. Lots and lots of jade. Uh, this is petrified wood, agatized wood. Um, it's petrified with agate in it. Lots and lots of jade here. Mostly low grade. Um, but some of the stones here, these are called gambling stones. They do bear jade, but until you process the stone, it's unclear how much jade is actually in there. So, you know, you buy it, it's a speculation. You could get rich or you could do your dough. More Huang Long Yu there. That's a money toad. It's like a traditional Chinese symbol for merchants and people like that. It's a three-toed uh, toad. And that's supposed to attract wealth. Oh, that's uh, amethyst crystal. More jade. Oh, okay. I want to show you this here. This box down here is full of... Um, this is Nanhong in Chinese, which means southern red. It's a type of agate that's found only in Baoshan to the northwest and also in Sichuan these days, the Baoshan stuff is much more valuable because, well, it's been mined out. You know, there's hardly any left, only small pieces like this, so. This is not jade, I think maybe serpentine, I'm not sure.
Uh, these are agates. So agate is basically chalcedony, but what we call agate is chalcedony, which has these distinctive swirly patterns in it. I wanted to say something about Huang Long Yu. There's a lot of Huang Long Yu here. Uh, this was classed as a grade of jade. I mean, it's not jadeite or nephrite, but in China, it's graded as such. So it's got grades. You know, you've got cheap Huang Long Yu and you've got extremely expensive Huang Long Yu. Uh, it was first discovered in Yingjiang in Dehong here about uh, 15 years ago. And a lot of people got rich off it because, you know, at that time there wasn't much on the market and everyone wanted it at that time. So, um, unfortunately, I mean, there's still heaps left, but it's been mined so much that now there's tons on the market and the value is down a lot more from what it was, you know, back then. Uh, but a lot of people made their fortunes off Huang Long Yu at that point. A lot of people who have big businesses in this field now, including my friend whose shop this is, uh, they got started off Huang Long Yu. There's a tea set there made of Huang Long Yu. Some tea sets. That is not jade. I think it might be agate. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But I know it's not jade. That uh, pink color there gives the game away on that one. So it's a great shop. Um, I mean, it's a jewellery shop, but it's also a mineral shop. It's even like a museum, a geology museum um, of the local area. Most of the stuff is from uh, here in Yunnan or from Myanmar, but there are some things from elsewhere. So, for example... He's got some fossils and stuff here, like this one here. That's an ammonite fossil from Madagascar. That's uh, Philocerus, which means leaf horn because of the distinctive patterns on the shell. Philocerus, um, that was a squid-like creature that lived uh, like 80, 90 million years ago. But as you can tell, only the shells have uh, remained and been fossilized. But scientists think they look kind of like modern day squid. There's another money toad. more agate the nice thing about this shop is that most of the things are you know like they're they've been crafted but they haven't been colored or treated so these are all natural colors just walk over this stone pile here oh my god uh, there's some amethyst crystal, some odds and ends here. More wood. Oh, I'm going to get down off here now. And so, yeah, that's the shop. Ah, xie xie laban. Xie xie.